The diagram on the right shows isosceles triangle EFG with vertices EFG, okay, EFG and FG have the same length. So we see here this one and this one is the same length because isosceles triangle. Find the value of K. So this term is the same. So we know that this term is equal to so x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. So distance x square plus distance y square. So here distance of fg because we have the point. So x and x here. You see here x is 7 minus 4. So 7 minus 4 square plus y is 8 and 4. 8 minus 4 square. So here you get 3 square plus 4 square which is equal to 9 plus 16, 25 or 5. Fg is equal to 5. Then EF should be 5 as well. So EF is equal to distance x is equal to 4 minus 0, 4 minus 0 square plus distance y is 4 minus k, 4 minus k square equal to, you see here this one is 5, so this one is 5, is equal to 5. So now we can remove the third by bringing it to the right. So we get 4 square plus 4, 4 minus k square is equal to 25 because 5 square is 25. So 16 plus, so 4 square is 16. So 2 times negative k is negative 2, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8k plus k square. So here we bring at one side minus 25 is equal to 0. So here 16 plus 16, okay. So k square minus 8k. So 16 plus 16 minus 25. So this one is 32 minus 25 is uh, plus 7 is equal to 0. So k minus 1 and k minus 7 is equal to 0. So k could be 1 or 7. So you see here. So you see here. This is y is equal to 4. So it is not possible for k to be 1. So k is equal to 7. So k is equal to 7. So h is a point on the line y is equal to 11. So at y is equal to 11. So there is point h and we know that eh is equal to gh. So eh so eh so eh is equal to gh. This is h where we don't know the x but the y is 11. So find the coordinate of h. So we know k here is 0. k is 7, 0, 7. So when you say that when we know the distance and we have this point, we can find the distance. So distance of eh is equal to distance of gh. Where the distance is equal to distance of x square plus distance of y square is equal to distance of x square plus distance of y square. For eh, we can see the distance of x is we have x and 0. So x minus 0 square. It doesn't matter if you do 0 minus x or x minus 0 because like when we square, we will still get the answer. So 7 minus 11 is negative 4 square. And here for g, h, g and h. So for x, this one is 7. 7 minus x or x minus 7 square. And here would be 11 minus 8. 11 minus 8 is 3 square. So we get, uh, so because we have third, we can cancel off the third. So this one we get x square plus Four, negative 4 square is 16 is equal to when we uh, when we expand we get x minus 7 square plus 9 so x square plus 16 is equal to when we expand we get x square so 2 times negative 7 is negative 14 times x is minus 14x 7 square is 49 plus 9 so here we can cancel out x square and we have negative 14x so we bring negative 14 to the left because we want it to be positive and then we bring 16 here so we can see we have 14x is equal to 49 plus 9 is 58 and then 16 we bring to the right we become negative 16 so we get 42 so x is equal to 42 divided by 14 which is equal to 3 so h we get x is 3 so we get h is 3 11 Ratio of area EFG to area of cardilateral EFGH. So, 
area so area of efg is equal to half so e is 0 k is 7 0 7 so efg so e f is 4 4 g is 7 8 and then we need to come back to the first point which is e which is 0 7 so we get half so 0 times 4 is 0 plus 4 times 8 is 32 plus 7 times 7 is 49 and then minus 7 times 4 is 28 and then minus 7 times 4 again is 28 and then here is 0 so we get half so half of 25 so we get 25 over 2 this one is EFG so area of EFGH is equal to half so we start with E also so 0 7 F is 4 4 G is 7 8 H is 3 11 and then we come back to E which is 0 7 okay sayang kejap is equal to half 0 times 4 is 0 4 times 8 is plus 32 7 times 11 is plus 77 and 3 times 7 is plus 21 and then from below to above is minus minus 28 and then minus 7 times 4 is 28 8 times 3 is minus 24 and then here is 0 so we get half so we get 50 so we get 25 so we can see this one is 25 over 2 and this one is 25 so we can see that to E F G is equal to E F G H. So E F G over E F G H is equal to so E F G here over here will equal to one over two. So the ratio is one to two. Or you can see this one is uh, obviously a rhombus. So half of the rhombus is equal to uh, one one, and we get the area lah.